Hi guys, it's day 16 of our June challenge and we're on our third day of our progressions for week three. So I'd love to find out how you're finding those extra reverse lunges with our lunges and how you find those extra pulses with the squats that we're doing. Now, um, also, how are you finding those hip dips? Hip dips on a plank is something that really does take a lot more control and we're working our obliques. So as you know, we've been starting in week one, we had a really nice three basic moves, 10 repetitions. Then we added on to it in week two, and this week we've added on to it again. And each time we add on, you're going to be starting to feel those differences. And I just would love to know at what stage you're sort of get, you've got to that you're actually really happy with and that you're pushing forward with. Are you managing to do the 10 repetitions of everything? I hope so. Right, it's another warm day today. So we're going to get started quite quickly. So let's get started back here. I'm just going to grab my weights. Remember, you can do this body weight only, cans or with hand weights. You choose you know your body. So it's always really worth thinking about where you are with your health and fitness and what you want to start with. Now, sometimes we think we're slightly further ahead than we are. And when you're doing an exercise, sometimes it can be a little bit disappointing if your balance goes or if you feel that you're not as fit as you want to be. Don't worry. It's all about progression. It's about your brain getting connected with those muscle groups. So each time we do this every single day, your brain is getting used to it. You're kicking in that joy receptor in our brains and you'll start really enjoying what you're doing and you'll start feeling the strength. So we're gonna start off again with those lunges. Remember on the basic level, we're taking a step forward, coming down. Now, if you can do a pulse, great, and then press it back. Then you're going to go, I'm just gonna step forward to show you this next bit. Then you're gonna go back into a backward lunge with no pulse, and then you're coming up. Now, if you find that the back pulse, backward lunge is difficult, just step back, all right? Don't worry about going to the full thing. Just find that balance to start with and then come back up. You're still working those abdominals. You still have to find that balance. And as you get stronger and more confident, you can go down deeper. For those of you who are more advanced and you're doing the 10 on our right, 10 on our left, we're going to do a pulse forwards. Now, when we go into our reverse lunge, we're going to do our pulse as well. So let's get started with our right leg. Here we go. So if you are doing the big basic version, you're going to do your alternating legs for 10. So you're going to be changing legs now, <laughs> whereas we're going to stay on our right leg um, for our first 10 of these. So remember, you're always finding that balance. Our tummies are pulled in, our shoulders are back, and we're using those weights just to add a little bit of extra resistance, but you don't need them. You can always put your hands on your hips and find your balance that way, okay? Or if you remember in week two, we had our hands on our shoulders, well, actually, it's our heads like this. So you can do a few different ways to just find that balance. Good. All right, we're coming forward. This is number five. Breathe. Step back. Always tap that foot down and find that balance. Your legs are going to be going hip width apart. It's quite easy sometimes to put one leg in front of the other, but I want you to keep that hip width apart feeling. And I know even on this carpet, I'm feeling a little bit more balanced. It's about your brain getting used to that feeling through your legs, through your feet. Good. God, this is number eight. Now, how are those legs feeling? How are those standing legs feeling? I'm feeling all sorts of muscle groups. This is nine. You're doing great. Chest is lifted. Back. We're going to do one more. Coming forwards. Drop that knee. Lovely. Remember, 90 degrees with that knee. Try not to travel that knee forwards. And up, roll those shoulders, well done. Already, heat starts to lift in your body. We're going to go on to our left leg. For those of you who are doing basics, you can just walk those legs through or join in and do your alternating again. See if you can add a couple of more moves. So with our left leg, here we go. So forwards, down with that pulse, tap back, and then down. And a good way to progress yourself is to try and move that you don't currently do. So when you're doing the move, just have a think about sometimes one leg is stronger than the other. If you've got the weaker leg, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Can you can you find that strength? Can you find that balance on a wobbly leg like I just did? There we go, coming back up. Yeah, breathe. Down and center. This is five. Tap and back. Good. Six. 
everyone doesn't necessarily like a lunge, <laughs> especially those backward lunges, because you have got to find that balance. Seven. Breathe. Good. Eight. And back. Two more. We're almost there. Wonderful. Great to start the day. Obviously, 7.15 that we're doing this. But you can do this at any point. One more. Down. Just find five minutes in your day to do this. You'll be really proud of yourselves. Coming up, roll those shoulders. And don't forget to do a hashtag replay when you've done it. I always love to see. All right. Take those legs uh, wider than hip width. Your feet are at five to one. Pressing back with that tailbone so you're hinging from your hip backwards. For beginners with your squats, this week you're going to be pressing down, doing a pulse and up overhead. That's your one. If you don't want to do the overhead, you do your pulse and you stand up, squeezing those glutes at the top, pressing those forwards, activating through those big muscle groups. For those of you who are doing the advanced, we're going to be doing three pulses and raise. See how low you can go today. Take it slower than me if you need to. Five, six, off we go. So the chest is lifted. Two, three, squeeze it up. Down, two, three, squeeze it up. This is three. Good. This is four. Squeeze. Five. Always say the word squeeze, <laughs> even if you say it to yourselves you'll find that you actually then do think about activating those glutes as you get to the top. This is seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. Tummies are in. And ten. Now we're coming down. If you all want to join me, you can't with me. We're going to do ten pulses. Five, six, off we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Just add that little extra kick into those legs. Well done. Good job. Let's put those weights down. All right, we're going to be going down to the floor and we're going to be going into doing our plank work. I wonder how your abdominals are feeling. Hopefully, a bit stronger. Coming down, walking those hands across the floor till you come down. Right. For the basic position, you're going to be taking those knees back so that you are in a really nice plank position. Always move those out, 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 shoulders back, sorry, those hands back, so that you can actually feel that they're underneath your shoulders. Sometimes when we go backwards with our bottoms, we tend to have our arms forwards like this. Try not to, try and get them underneath your shoulders if you can. All right, remember, you're going to either be stepping one leg back, or like this, or you can go from your toes down. So you can be doing 10 alternating if this is the position you want to start with. For those advanced, we're going to be doing our spider swipe, coming forwards, five, six, off we go. So forward, cross, back, forward, cross, back, that's two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, knees down, child's pose. Rotate those wrists, take that weight off. Now we're going to go into our hip dips. We'll all be on our elbows. You can do it with your knees or on your toes. Now I have done demonstrations of these. So make sure you go back for demos if you're not sure. Okay, I'm going to be putting my legs backwards. I'm going to do a straight leg, um, but you can do it from your knees. And you're rotating one hip down, then the other, trying to keep your shoulders facing forwards. Here we go, five, six, off we go. So down, center. Two, three, four, five. Wiggle those feet to get them back into position. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and knees down. Go back into child's pose. Now then, if you're on the beginner, you've been, you've done, you're doing really, really well. Just rotate those wrists. But if you fancy joining us for our last two exercises in these plank positions, then we're going to start off with those out, out, in, in, or jumping out and in. So take yourself into that plank position. So it's either stepping out and in, or it's jumping out and in. Um, I think I'm on the step outs today. So five, six, off we go. Out, out, in, in, 
out, out, in, in. This is three, four. Tummies are in, bottoms are down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, knees down on the floor, press back. We've got one more to go. You're doing so well. How are you finding today? The heat definitely makes a difference with exercise. It adds the impression to the body. So if at any point you want to break up all these exercises and do them in 10 times a little bit of water, you can always do that. So let's take our legs up. We're going to do our leg raises. You can do it from a knee bend if you want to and down, depending how you feel with those planks. Otherwise, on your toes, straight leg, five, six, off we go. So up and down. Two, squeeze those glutes. Three, everything's stable. Four, five, everything pulled in. Six, seven, reaching through those arms. Eight, nine, last one with air. Give and knees down and you are done. Great stuff. Now I think because we've had a combination of about four or five really warm days, you'll find different days, you'll feel stronger than others. We're gonna come onto our feet, let's do a little bit of a roll out of our shoulders. Open those legs, press down, reach up, but your metabolism just kicks in. And this is turning into a really nice little workout that you can do any time during your day to just activate that metabolism. For women, it really helps to calm your hormones. <clears throat> really starts to build your skeletal muscle, which is actually really good for feeding our bones and for feeling so much better mentally. Thanks so much, Karen, for joining me. For those of you who can't join me live, make sure you do a hashtag replay. Let me know how you're doing. I always really love to know if there's any bits that you find difficult. I can always give you some additional advice, um, but you're doing so well. Day 16, we're doing it, we've smashed it. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Carry on and do another little workout if you want to, or go for a walk, that's what I'll be doing right after this. Um, but I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. 7.15 if you want to join me live and uh, have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.